Hey, it's Mo, and I'm here with Rhonda of Vita Nova Village. And as a new chamber member, we thought we'd sit down with you and learn a little bit about Vita Nova. As one of the founders, we thought, who else to chat with? So, will you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Uh, Vita Nova Village is the next step from the homeless shelter. We uh, anticipate uh, screening a lot of our first residents through the shelters where they will indicate people that are ready for that next step, people that are ready to either get part-time employment, just need a little more education, or just need that extra step up, a hand up, to say, to housing permanence. Yeah, and you know, I, I think to talk about what you'll be doing, um, we almost need to go back a little bit and talk about how it all started. And what I think is really fun about where we're sitting today, this table at Joplin Greenhouse is exactly where it started because there were some individuals who would get together and you guys were talking about things in the community that you'd like to see a change on. And you mentioned a Facebook group. Will you tell us a little bit about the story and kind of how it all came together? Just uh, a lot of us on Facebook were complaining about the growing homeless issue here in Joplin, Missouri. And finally we decided we need to form a group and start talking about solutions. We need to come up with ways to uh, help with this issue instead of just complaining about it on, on Facebook all the time. So, so we met here. Uh, we met here every Monday morning since August of this year, and we continue to do that and, and started planning Vita Nova Village. Um, we started out talking about the different um, rules and regulations in Joplin and things that could be changed or just uh, enforced. And finally, our one of our founders, Phil, who was previously homeless, said that he wanted to start a village, a community, so homeless people could get educated, learn job skills, and just get everything they needed to move on to the next step in housing permanence with everything needed to be successful. Yeah, I love how you say that too, because the mission is housing permanence. The, the mission is, uh, you know, to, to truly address and uh, resolve some of the issues that our community is having, because it is a community issue, you know? And, and so we're all in it together, and I love that you guys decided, you know what? Let's do something about it right here at Joplin Greenhouse. You know, great ideas come from uh, caffeinated people. So, <laughs> so uh, will you tell us a little bit about what makes this different or unique to, uh, you know, s s some opportunities that might exist and, and what that distinction is? Okay. Well, one thing that makes our village different than the current shelters or other things that are available is that our residents will have some buy-in. They will pay a nominal rent around three hundred dollars a month for their home, um, and their utilities so it's very affordable even for those that are on a fixed income um, and they can stay six months two years because everyone is different in what in their needs and we want them to stay until they're ready to move on so so I know that you talked about programs and some things that you also wanted to do to, to help make sure these individuals are really ready for the next phase in their life and and for a successful future so can can you share with us what that looks like and what does that mean for them well, targeted education is what we're calling it because we anticipate most people that come in will be different from the others. Um, so everything from cooking for yourself with just basic ingredients to work training. We'll have people come in and teach them skills to get jobs, uh, just basic jobs or skills to increase their uh, earning ability so that they can afford to move on and maintain that house when they move on. I love that. And, you know, I think there's a, you know, all of us going off on our own there's so many things we don't know and so it's really great no, no matter who it is or what your background is or, or what your your future may or may not uh, look like and and what you can imagine um, it's just so nice to have these resources and and people who can really help make sure that you're taken care of and, and ready to rock so where are you guys at on this process what's the next step well we are <laughs> looking looking really hard right now for the perfect site. We have a few places in mind, um, so we're vetting them really hard right now. Um, once we find that site, we're ready to go with the infrastructure planning based on what that site layout is, of course. Um, we have people lined up to start with our first six homes, um, but we are looking for people to team up and sponsor these homes. We're anticipating about uh, 35K for each home. However, if we can get people to pair up or just team up, it, it won't be a big expense for any one person. It, and, and it makes a big difference for someone in their future. So. 
Yeah, many hands make for light work and much money makes for less investment per person, <laughs> which is nice. So great. Well, I, so if individuals want to find out about how they can get evol involved, maybe they want to help with this project in a non-financial way. Maybe you have some type of skill set. Maybe you're a grant writer. Maybe you're someone with a lot of great information and you'd like to be able to share that with other people. Um, how can they get involved? Well, they can email me. It's Rhonda with an H at feedanovavillage.org or they can go on our uh, website. It's feedanovavillage.org. So. Awesome. Perfect. Well, is there anything we didn't talk about that you want to make sure that we cover? I, 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 think, um, I think anyone would love to live in one of these beautiful homes. These were uh, designed by Paragon Architecture who have been very helpful with us in getting these designs together. But yeah, um, we plan to start with just six and we'd love to grow to 50. So. Amazing. Well, these are beautiful homes and they're very modern and I, and I love the layout. I'm sure that if you'd like more information about this and you want to go check it out on their website, you'll find out everything you need to know. But if you don't find out everything you need to go, then you can reach out to Rhonda. That's Rhonda with an H at VitaNovaVillage.org, right? Perfect. Well, thank you so much for visiting with us today, and thank you for what you do for this community. We really appreciate this, and uh, look forward to seeing what happens.